All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Macha Kodash. Uh, double honor to our apostles and elders of GMS and uh, to the elect of the work of sincerity and the truth, Shalom. This is Nazar Khad, GMS Precepts. And real quick, I'm going to go, um, this video is going to be on um, the last video I did. I had a comment on it. Um, uh, the comment is from Samuel. Quinoa, uh, Quinones, um, it says, I used to think it was just Jesus and his father, but I actually had a really good friend of mine tell me that his, n that, tell me that wasn't his name. How can I find out more about his name, Yahweh? So, Lord willing, I'm going to go into that, right? Because um, normally when I do an intro to my video, and I also put what I say in the description box, I always give praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, that's the Most High in His Son. Yahweh, Yahweh is the Most High's name, or who the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls God. Bahashem is in the name of Yahweh Shai, that's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, in the Hebrew, um, double honors to apostles and elders, I always give double honors to my teachers. Uh, apostles and elders of GMS and I say shalom to the brothers doing the work, right? Doing the work, doing the work of the most high, right? So, um, but uh, the last video I did, I mentioned, I said all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and then I said uh, who the world, and that's who the world ignorantly calls God in Christ pretty much. And, you know, because sometimes I mention that from time to time because you might have somebody that, um, you might have somebody that never heard about this or never heard the name or, or you know, when we do our little intro, they don't know what we're saying. So from time to time, I mentioned, yeah, that's the name of the Lord and his son, right? Because that name is very important, okay? The name is something that we're going to need. Matter of fact, uh, the name is very important. Where can I go? Let me go uh, proving that the name is very important. Let me go to Acts, the fourth chapter. Right, because the name of the Lord is for our salvation. All right, there are plenty of scriptures that tell you how how important. As my computer's freezing up now, there's plenty of scripture in the, in the Bible that tell you the importance of knowing the name of the Lord. But when you're told the name of the Lord is Jesus, that's false. Okay. Okay, because first off, the letter J was introduced in is a very recent addition to the. Uh, uh, alphabet or English alphabet. It, it came in a f in a f uh, 15th century or s uh, in the uh, within the last past 500 years. So if that letter is recent, what would the, what letter that letter J? Basically, his name can't be Jesus if if that letter J was recently introduced, right? So what is the name of the Lord? What is what is the name of the Most High? They say the Most High's name is God, but that's just a title. There are plenty, there are many other gods, right? We understand there's one true God, but what's the one true God's name, right? So, Lord willing, I'm going to go into that. So, this is uh, Acts 4th chapter showing you, showing you through the scriptures, through the Spirit, the importance of knowing the name of the Lord, right? So, um, this is, uh, I'm going to start at points in 12. Um I'm going to I'm going to start at 10, right? This is Acts 4 and 10. It says, "Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the now I'm going to read it verbatim, right? That by the name of Jesus Christ, which like I said before, his real name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? That by the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Yahweh Shai is Jesus. Uh, Mashiach, what I just said is Christ. Um, that by the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, and whom the Most High, or the, whom God, raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand before you hold. So this is uh, Peter. He just, yeah, this is Peter. He just uh, did a, a miracle uh, on, on somebody. And. He's, he's basically saying he was able to do that miracle. He was able to heal that person by the name of the Lord, showing you there's power in the name. Okay? Um, 
says, Whom the Most High raised from the dead, even by him does this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders. Excuse me. Uh, this was a stone which was set at naught uh, of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Speaking of Yahweh Shai, right? So here's a point here. It says, neither is there is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So what is Paul? Oh, I'm sorry. What is Peter saying here? There's no other name on this planet that will grant us salvation. The only name that we're going to receive salvation of is knowing the name of the Lord. So the name of the Lord is very important. Okay. I read that again. Neither is there any sal neither is there salvation in any other. So there's no other way that you can receive salvation. No other name that you can receive salvation. Neither is there neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men. And what other name does that include? Uh Jesus. That word Jesus is not gonna save you, man. Alright? Why? Because that's not the name of the Lord. For there is none other name under heaven given among men where, whereby we must be saved. Let me go to another one real quick. Proverbs, what is it, 18? Here it is, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run, runneth into it and is safe. And what name is that? The name of the Most High and His Son. Now, when you see the name here in all capitals, that's speaking about the that's speaking about the Most High, right? Let's see what it says. You see, so I, I, I so that's the name of the Lord. It says Yahweh. This brother acts here. He wanted to know more information. How can I find out more about his name Yahweh? Um, and his son, right? So the Most High's name is Yahweh. This is how it's spelled, Yahweh, and the mo and his son's name, Yahweh Shai, or or A.K.A. Jesus Christ, as he's known by in the world, uh, is Yahweh Shai. So when you see the name, the name of the Lord, it, when you see Lord in all capitals, like you see here, that's speaking about the Most High. That's speaking about Yahweh, right? The name of the Lord. Now, mind you, this is uh, this is um. This website I'm on right now is blueletter.com. I'm sorry, blueletter.org. And, you know, it has all the Bibles, verses, and all that. Um, it's got all these different versions, which I'm in the KJV right now. The KJV is the closest, is the, um, is the version that's the closest from the original translation, right? Because the Old Testament was, was it was translated, um, well, the Old Testament was written in the Hebrew. The New Testament was in the Greek, okay, Greek and Latin. But when it was translated, it was translated. It was translated by a man by the name of King James, who was a so-called black man, by the way. King James, he had his, not himself, but he had interpreters that translated the Bible from the original text to English, okay. Um, and and what they were speaking back then, it, it's it's referred to as uh, old English, right? Uh, like they call it like Shakespearean speech or how they talk in the Shakespeare movies. They say thine, thy, uh, th thither, you know, right? So even though it's a little hard to understand in the beginning, the more you read it, the easier it is you understand. It's ju just like with anything. The more you do something, you'll understand it. Um, right? So I sort of lost my train of thought here, but this is the name of the Lord, okay, Yahweh. Matter of fact, since I'm going into the name of the Lord, let me go right into Exodus, the fourth chapter. Um, and this is when the Lord is speaking to Moses, Exodus, the fourth chapter. As you can see here, how, how do you know it's the Lord? All these are in capital, right? And the Lord said unto Moses, right, that they may believe that the Lord power or Lord God of their fathers right so let me go into that word Lord right so that's what I was saying so 
this uh blue letter dot org blue letter bible dot org you it's got all the verses chapters in here <clears throat> if you wanna if you wanna know what a word translates to or if you wanna know the original word um um that the word here is you just go to the verse and it lists here this whole verse here in the Hebrew right it says and the Lord said furthermore to him right which is this word here it says Yahweh why ya Amar Yahweh okay Yahweh that's the name of the Lord and the Lord what is it Yahweh let's see what it says here the existing one the one or I am all right or he is Yahweh that's the name of the Lord all right Yahweh now going to um, I had this one what else I had I had Genesis the did I have Genesis uh, let me go to the other one um, I had Genesis here it is I had Genesis the 29th chapter well, I don't have to get that. What I don't have to get that. What I I'll just get it. This is Genesis the twenty ninth chapter when it's speaking about the Lord because um uh Judah Judah, which is the sons one of the sons of uh Jacob, uh the Lord's name is actually in his name, right? It says and she perceived she conceived again and bare a son and 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 she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Therefore, she called his name Judah and left bearing. Now, if we go down here, it says, and she conceived again and bare a son, and it says, I will praise the Lord, right? Um, Yada Yahweh. It's right here. Awada Ath Yahweh. So that's all right. Ath Yahweh. Yahweh, right? And it says, Quara'a um, Shamar, Shamar, Sham, Shamwa, or this is name. It says, Yahweh Da, Yahweh Da. Matter of fact, I'll just go down here. It says, The Lord, I will praise the Lord, Yahweh. And his name, and therefore she called his name Yahweh, Yahweh, which means the uh, the Most High thanks, right? Yahweh, right? So I didn't really want it. So let me let me go. To, so I broke down the name of the Lord, the 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 Most High's name, Yahweh. Let me go to. Let me go to the the. Let me go to Yahweh Shai's name. In Matthew's the first chapter, right? So this is Matthew's the first chapter one. Um, I'll start at eighteen. Matter of fact, I'll go to twenty twenty one. Um, this is Matthew's one and twenty one, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for she for he shall save his people from their sins. Let's go into the word Jesus. What does it say? Scroll down here, Jesus. It says Isus. Right, Isus. So this is this is how it was. So this is how it was in the Greek. It, it, it wasn't J. It was Isus. Right now, the word the word Isus or in the Hebrew it's Yahweh Shai. It means what? Yeah, uh, salvation. Let's go to the original here. They have it here as Yeshua. But the real name is, this is a different variant spellings. We'll go by this one right here. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, which means what? Salvation. So the so the name of the Lord, if you, the whole name of the Lord, I'm going to go back to uh, Matthews 1 and 18. Right? Because it's Jesus Christ, right? I broke down the word Jesus. Right? If I go to the word here. Jesus Christ, Isus Christos, Christos, or Jesus Christ, 
the word Christos means what? Anointed, right? Here it is right here. Christ equals anointed. Okay? So, you have people saying, oh, the word, the name of the, 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 the Lord's name is Isus. Or, I'm sorry, the, the Lord's name is Jesus Christ. Well, in the Greek, which which is one of the languages they spoke then, it wasn't Jesus Christ because that letter wasn't around. He was referred to as Isus Christos. But in, in the Hebrew is what? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's that's where we get the name of his son, Jesus. So um, when you hear brothers say all praises to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all praises to Yahweh, the Most High, in the name of Baha, in the in the name, in the name Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Right, that's the name of the that's the name of the Lord. That's that's the name of Jesus, uh, who they call Jesus or refer to as Jesus, Yahweh Shai, and the Most High's name is Yahweh. Okay, so Lord, Lord willing, you know, brother Samuel, you were edified. If you know, Lord willing, I broke it down correctly to you in a way you can understand. Also, the name of the Lord is very important, man. I just brought out the scripture in Acts showing you that there's no other name uh, under heaven given among men um, whereby we whereby we'll be saved by. There's no other name that we can use to be to receive salvation. We need that name. That name is our power. All right. So Lord willing, you're edified uh, until the next show. Shalom.